Hello, my name is Ralph and welcome to the Horror Hour. A segment where I play as many horror games as I can in one hour just for you. Now, uh, I've already got some of our games picked out. And our first game that we are going to play is a little game called Video Exorcist. Uh, press A to play. Hey, there we go. Oh, there. Here we go. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I don't know. Why? It's moving when I push the buttons to move. Ow. Apparently I'm only allowed to go. Alright. Hold on. This thing is moving all over the place. Gotta reposition it now. Make sure I get it in the right spot again. There we go. Okay. So... Use these. Are there other buttons to fire? Whoa. There we go. Okay. Alright. Alright. I'm good. I'm good. Good to go. Now we figure out the, the buttons. Oh yeah, well, call me a pitiful mortal. Ha ha! <laughs> I teach you to call me a pitiful child. Ow! Ah, he moved! Yeah! Ha Oh man, this is uh <laughs> old school. Oh no, it's a lot. Ow. So they hit you and they take away certain Oh nice! If I can corner it I can ow. Oh, I can't go left? Or right? Let's see. Right. Can't go right. Uh, that, that was weird. So every time they hit you, not only do they take away a little heart, but they take away a power. Whether it be the, the your range power here. Eesh. Quit firing your heads at me. Alright. Level six. Ow. Uh, now I can't go up. There we go. There you are. You're mine. Hey, wait, come back here. Ah! Interesting music. Kind of cool, actually. Hey, no, no, no. Did not shoot your skull thingy at me. Oh, 
So the purpose behind this game is that a uh, a boy got sucked into the TV by playing this video game that's apparently possessed by a demon of some kind. Ah! He hit me. Apparently that's a, like... There we go, gotcha. Um... And, uh, a mom brought an exorcist in. And as the exorcist, we're sitting here playing this game, trying to get her son out. It's gonna start mashing on the attack button. Oh no, that was a bad idea. Now I can't do certain things. Ow! No, 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 no! I've lost my ability to... Oh, shoot, I can't go any direction except for right. Now I can't move at all. There we go. Alright. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Give me back my power! Tag it. I'm like chasing it around. Oh no, this is really bad. Oh, come on! It was right there. I'm just gonna stand here. It'll come to me eventually. Got it! We did it! The demon has been purged. Has it? You managed to beat the evil spirit within the cursed partridge purging it from this plane of existence. A child materialized. The mother thanks you. Tears rolling down her eyes. It was a successful exorcism. Yeah, that was an interesting little game. It was, it was cool. The, the, the whole, every time you got hit, you lost the ability to do something, whether it be move or, or attack in a, or a certain way or whatever. But uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty cool. I kind of liked that. That was, that was fun. That was fun. Alright. On to the next game. This next game we're going to be playing is a game called 23 Skidoo. What is your name? My name is Ralph Nim. 
Your grandmother defined the phrase 23 skidoo like this. When in doubt, get the hell out of here now. You should have considered her words on your 10th birthday. You remember on that night of your 10th birthday, you discovered this tiny windowless building. You can see it from the second floor, but back then you didn't realize the, its existence. You called this tiny building the place. I like music and all, but when there's high pitched dinging stuff, it, it hurts my ears. You think the young, ugly building doesn't deserve a pretty name? Your 10 year old self in pajama sneaked out of the house at 11 in the evening. You entered into the place and saw a painted circle drawn on the concrete floor. Then, behind you, the door of the place shut. Inside, you screamed for help, but only got drowned out by a sudden, louder sound. You saw one wall open to the undescribable world. An extraordinary power then wrapped around you and unlocked your hidden ability. The birthday gift, the birth, the birthday gift from another dimension. The door of the place opened and you walked back home, feeling fatigued. Your parents saw you returning and called for a help. You then didn't feel familiar with your safest place in this world. Your child self couldn't reconcile with this alien feeling. You remember this incident where you realized this hidden ability. You and your childhood friends went to the woods to play the game of tag. When you were on the run, you fell from the cliff by mistake, down until the sound of rustling tree branches reached your friend's ears. At this point, your friends expected you to die from a broken neck and blood loss. On the ground, you felt fine. Not even gravity could hurt you. The town people found you standing up. They were amazed how you managed to survive from the fall. Then you talked to the local priestess about incidents after your 10th birthday. She responded with a horrified facial expression. The priestess went to her office and brought an amulet from her table. She said to you, she, she said to your child self that this amulet can preserve your humanity. You wanted to know more about how this amulet can protect you. You went to your grandmother, who knew much about eldritch matters. You told her about the portal in the place and how the falling and how the falling didn't affect you. Grandmother told you that rituals must use this circle and place to summon demons. Hear how they made two worlds to connect each other. You need to stand on the circle at a set, certain time, 11 in the evening. She explained that these demons wanted you to come to their world. They gave you this inhuman ability to give you an idea of their power. This amulet could fend yourself from the demon's growing influence. You must remind your humanity. There on, you stopped being invincible. A week after your 23rd birthday, you decided to destroy the place. You prepare by wearing the amulet and bringing a lantern and a sledgehammer. Like those worms common gangs you will destroy this place from the inside you start with the door and hope that it will never lock you in again you see the circle on the concrete floor you swing the hammer to the ground and the concrete floor breaks like a glass you continue until the circle is gone after that you will make a hole in the wall and expect a view from the outside then the entrance closes. 
you have 230 minutes left until something will happen. Uh, see a left wall with the unusual symbol. What do you want to do with it? I break it with a hammer. Break the left wall. You, you hear the rumbling sound outside. You might have done something right. Uh, well, I might try to return to center. Uh, right wall. You see the right wall with the with an unusual symbol. What do you do with it? I want to try this one too. And then we turn to center. And then go to the front wall. And break that with my hammer. Return to center. You get the wrong sequence and you felt nauseous in the end. You realize you need to go right first and front last. Try again. Right first. A smasher. Turn to center. Left. A smasher. Front. A smasher. Turn to center. You got the wrong sequence and you felt it on. Try again. You're in the middle. Okay. Right first and front last. Right. Hand on it. Remember your grandmother's instruction to recite a certain ancient verse. They are in different languages. Which one would you cite? Germanic verse. Left. Uh, we'll try all Germanic verses first. Okay. <laughs> so right is first. French is first. Then left. French is first. And then front. Got the wrong sequence. Okay, right. We'll go. Put a hand on it. Germanic first. Right center. Left. Frankish first. Turn to center. And then front. We'll break it with a hammer. Nope. All right. Right. Um. Attack with a hammer. Attack with a hammer. I guess I'm just gonna wail on with a hammer until it's dead. Okay, what? what does that say? Interesting. Try breaking with a hammer. Try breaking with a hammer. Germanic verse. Wrong sequence. Right. And break verse. Center. Left. And Germanic verse. Turn to center. Front. Try breaking with hammer. Turn to center. Oh. Okay, right. Z is, um, Trevor Clint with a hammer. Left. I imagine there'd be clues or something. Front. Chronic 
Church. Right first and front last. Okay, I got that. Alright, so we'll do this. So we always try Germanic first with everything. We're gonna go Germanic right. And then Frankish for the other two. Okay. Now we'll go Germanic, Frankish, breaking with hammer. Nope. All right. Right. Germanic. Left. Break with hammer, and then front. Frankish. Nope. All right. Right. That was every possibility for starting with Germanic. Okay, so let's try Frankish. We already did Frankish for all of them. We'll go Frankish, Germanic, Germanic. Nope. All right. Frankish. Germanic. Break with hammer. Uh, that would be an L. Exhausted. More demons from the portal swarm in. Each of them take a part of your flesh. And others follow. You are their last meal. Aww! <laughs> you got dead meat. Thanks for playing. Alright, we're doing that again. I wonder if it's procedurally generated, like randomly generated, uh, stuff.
know if I've done something right or not. This, okay, this game is interesting, but it's very monotonous and it gets boring very quickly because it's it's trial and error, but the fact that it's random every time you have to restart. And as far as I can tell, there's no indication on how on like how to tell that you've done something right or not because it says the same thing every time you've done it. Uh, you may have done something right. You may have done something right. That's what it says every time that you do something. You may have done something right. Oh. Yeah. And other than that, there's no other instructions or anything like that. So, um, <clears throat> this game started off really interesting and all that, but it got very monotonous and old very, very quickly. And yeah, um, uh, kind of frustrated by that. It it's it's really frustrating when you're playing a game that is randomly generated and doesn't give you any indication that you're doing something right because if you don't have any indication that you're doing something right how are you supposed to know when you've got something right in the sequence and then something happens and you die and you start have to start over which means you have to start the entire sequencing over again and there's no indication that you've done anything right it's kind of an it's it, that's a definite flaw in the game <clears throat> there needs to be some way to be able to tell that you've done something right that you've gotten a part of the sequence correct because if there's not a way to do that you will never be able to get it correct because especially um it it started telling me that i could go back to the wall which tells me that there's three options for three walls, and if I have to do multiple things on a wall and get the right sequence there at each wall, that means that there's uh, you know you got to get the right sequence of, of on on each on each wall too. So if you were to do all three things. In, in the orders that you're allowed to do them. So destroy, Germanic, Frank Kick. Um, so destroy, Germanic, Frank Kick. Destroy, Frank, Germanic. Germanic, destroy, Frank Kick. Uh, Germanic, Frank Kick, destroy. Frank Kick. There's like seven or eight different possibilities of combinations for a single wall. And then it's figuring out, so you got to figure out that sequence, what you do there for each wall. So you're doing seven to eight actions at each wall, which takes time. You know, all, all up to that many actions at each wall which every action takes time off your counter. And then you have to, so you have to figure out that sequence and then you have to figure out the sequence on the next wall. But if you get the sequence wrong, you've got to go back and make sure you input the correct sequence on the right wall. But, and, and, and the, the only thing that it tells you is you have to go right first and the front wall last. And that is every time we've done it, it has said that. So at least that stays the same. But other than that, there's no other indication on what you need to do. So I feel like that's a that's a pretty big flaw in that game. You, you There's no indication on what you can do, on, on whether you did something right or not. It 
says you might have done something right, but it says that for every action you do at each wall. So there's no you did something right or you hear a click. Like there's 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 no text that's different. Maybe I just never got the right starting point. That could be a thing. But I literally did every possible starting thing that you could do because he says you start with the right wall it specifically says that you start with the right wall and i put and at the right wall i did every single possible start starting point and there was no indication that i did anything right at all that's a that's a pretty big flaw and that that's kind of that's actually extremely disappointing because it could have been a very good game. But because of that, you, you, you never find out if you've done the right sequence or not. You just have to get lucky and get the right sequence. I mean, it, it is entirely luck. And this is a game called That Dream. I always had a strange dream. That dream always happens when I'm at work. It's creaky, creaky, creaky. Hello, but there is a sprint button, okay. It's dork in here. Oh, that's cool. So on the carpet it's a soft flooding, then you get on the tile floor and it's a more creaky clacky. Light switches. Telephone. Hmm. Interesting pictures. Looks like really messed up transformers. Um, those, oh, really? Okay. It's locked. Okay. So I have to go get a key. Is there a key somewhere? I play these horror games and my mind starts playing tricks on me. Like I see things. Hey. Who turned off my music? Not sure how I feel about the weird noises it's making. I come in here and somebody keeps turning it off. It's 
Very, very strange. How do I unlock it? Okay. Um. Oh! Okay, I will turn the music on, I promise. I'm sorry. Oh, why am I following the blood? Um. Oh, look. The unlocked door is now open. Um. Or, or the locked door is now open, I should say. Flashlight! Oh, they turned off the power. Of course they did. Oh, come on. This to me. the music on? Don't want the music on? You want the music on? Yeah. Oh, they're like mannequins. I don't like it. I'm leaving. I'm, I'm leaving. Hot. Oh lord. I'm running. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I swear I promise. I'm leaving. 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 What are they? That's a good question. <laughs> Who are they? I don't want to know. What do they want from me? That I really don't want to know. I like my kidneys where they are. I hope this is just a dream. I hope. Oh, oh God. Not again. Not again. I thought I heard something behind me. Am I in an endless loop? I am, aren't I? Nope, can't turn on the music. leave I just want to leave can I leave can I just go okay I'm leaving I'm going 
I have a flashlight this time. The exit is closed. Thank you for buying. Oh, you. <laughs> I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. It was good. Um, you got me. Of course, I'm a big baby when it comes to these kinds of things. So yeah, um, that was good. That was that was really well done. Um, and it, it took a little while to. Uh, it, it took a little while to figure out what I was supposed to be doing. It was like a loop kind of thing. Um, but it was cool. I, I enjoyed that. It was fun. Um, short and to the point, which actually sometimes can be better than, you know, long drawn out games because they get too long and too drawn out. And, um, they get old. The, the scare, you get used to the scares and that kind of stuff. Shorter, quicker games that give you the scare or give you the ambiance. And the, and then get you to the point of the game. I feel like they're much better than the longer drawn out games where you do get used to the scares. Now it's not to say that there aren't longer games that are managed to um, keep the fear factor, you know, up here for extended periods of time and and keep that fear going throughout the entire game, but. Um, a good balance is those those longer horror games that um, they get they get you that suspense and that horror and stuff, and they give you some time to you know, come back down a little bit, and then they build it back up again, and then they, then they give you a little bit of time to recover and come back down. Not ones that you feel like you can only play them in little bits because it's just intensity from the word go. And they're longer games and they take a longer period of time. I feel like the roller coaster ride of emotions is more fun than um, just you're at the peak of terror the entire time you're playing. And then it's and, and it takes a long time to get there because either one, you're going to stop playing because you're too scared to continue. Or two, you're going to get used to the terror. And then it's not going to be scary anymore, and it's not going to be fun anymore. And it's just going to be a tedious game of whatever you're doing, cat and mouse, basically, where you're, like, ducking in and out of things because you learned the mechanics of the monster or, or whatever. Um, but, yeah, I like that. I like those shorter games. They're fun. They're lots of fun. Um, but, anyways, this was Rothram's Horror Hour. We only got three games in, mostly because that one game that took the procedurally generated solution that didn't really have a good solution to solving the puzzle um thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did make sure you hit that like button subscribe and ring that bell because when you ring that bell you'll get notifications for every time i post new videos which i do daily i will see you guys next time until then keep your head up and keep moving forward this is rafnum signing off